Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Semox Code and this is part 6 of our video tutorial on how to create a point of sale system using JavaFX and MySQL as the database. So this is what we have so far and um, last video we manage or yeah, we managed to create the um managing the table so if we click on that bottom uh, button manage table we should be able to get this window and here we should be able to add a table name uh, for example table number seven so click on save and it should add the table name right here now in this video we're gonna um, update this um, instead of just saving for now where we don't have mechanism to update and also delete a certain record coming from our uh, manage table window so let's open up our NetBeans IDE and here we have the tables controller and of course we're gonna update this and the first thing that we're gonna need is um, some sort of click listener to our table. So if we click on a certain record, it should um, set the name of the table. Uh, let me show you that real quick. So log in and then um, we have here the dashboard. So if we click on the manage table, we should be getting this particular window manage tables. And um, what I'm seeing here um, is the table names, right? So um, what we could do is whenever we click on any of the record or any of the row here, it should set the name uh, on this particular text field. And in that way, we could update the table name. And of course, we could delete um, any of the selected row. Okay, so in order for us to do that, let's add a listener to our table. So let's add a method right here, and that will be private void add listener for table. Okay, and what we could do here we could use the table our table name is uh, not that it's table tables okay and then we could use the get selection model get selection model and then selected item property not index but item and then we're gonna add listener to that and that will be um, we're gonna use arrow function right here old selection and then new selection and we're going to use our function, open and close curly braces. There we go. And in here, we're going to check if the selection is not equal to null. So new selection is not equal to null. So if it is not equal to null, then we will set our uh, BTN edit to, uh, to be enabled. Okay. So, btn update. Set disable uh, false. btn delete. And then, of course, we're going to do the same. False. Otherwise, We will set 
the buttons enabled so that we could you know press the update and delete button okay and of course in here we need to set the name to the uh, text field so that's um, text field table name that set text and then we're gonna use the new selection and this um, new selection will return the tables object that we have created right here okay and then by that we could um, use the method get name okay that's because it returns um, table object or tables object and um, in here also if the selection is equal to null then we're going to set the name or text field um, empty okay and um, after that we could set the um, I think that's that's it okay now what we could do um, let's add this particular listener to the initialize method that we have so inside our initialize before anything else we need to um, add listener for table so that every time we click the table or a certain row the buttons will be enabled or disabled based on our selection so if it is null then all the um, the buttons update and delete will be disabled and if it is not equal to null then all the buttons like for example the, the update and delete will be um, enabled okay so now what we could do is try to add the um, edit and delete functionality so let's just let's just open our tables that fxml and we're gonna add the on action event for this um, update and delete so in here we're gonna set uh, on action event like for example edit entry for our update and this one will be delete entry okay and let's just save this back to our netbeans ide and um, update our controller so we should have the edit entry and delete entry right here okay so before we proceed with our um I think the buttons are disabled by default. So enabled, where is it? Properties. Um, where is it? Disabled. Okay. Because we don't want to click these uh, buttons if we don't, you know, select a row from our table and of course if we select something then it should be set to enabled so save that and go back to our netbeans ide and in, in here we're going to update this methods so for now let's just get the name um we're, we're not getting the name right we're uh, setting the name of our uh, text field okay so let's just open up first the connection jdbc object get connection right and then we're going to use try and catch here exception x ex dot get message okay and in here we're gonna use um 
our tables class this is what we have created from the previous video and of course if you miss miss that particular video tutorial you can um, finish that before proceeding to this particular video tutorial this is part six okay so i think or we define the tables um class from i think it's part five or four so you can check that and what we could do here is use our table table tables that get selection model and then we can get the get um selected item okay so of course this particular um line here will return an object of the selected item coming from our table and then what we could do here is set up the query so what we will do here is update and then the table name which is table tables and then we're gonna set the name into uh, whatever the um, being set by the listener that we have here because as you can see here we have set the text whenever the user clicks on a certain row or something so we're gonna use that and what we have is tf and then table name that get text where um, id equals uh, single code and then table that get id plus double code and close this particular line so this is just a standard query um, we're updating the name of this particular record which is having this particular id that we have here okay and then we're going to use the execute query method and we're going to update the tables okay show tables is it show tables without s okay okay save this and let's just clean and build our project and run let's try to log in first and then manage table and if we click on any of the record it should set the name here um, inside our text field right as you can see now so for example we um, add a new one so for example uh, eight and uh, eight and then we have uh, type it with letter a which is not the desired table name so save that and of course we can click on this and update so for example you can make it table um, 8 without the letter a so update and it should update the record okay um, if you want you can add dialogue to this so for example every time we click on the update or save um, we could display um, a window or, or a dialogue that says the record has been saved or the record has been updated or something now um, I think that's good and we need to proceed to the other one which is the delete function or the delete me method so um, I think we're, we're just gonna copy and paste this right here and we just need to change the query so delete entry we're gonna get the connection from our connection um i'm in database object class 
and then we're gonna set or get the selected item and it will return a tables object and we're naming that object table and the query of course is different it will be delete from um, tables tables and then we're gonna remove this where id equals and then um, table dot get id so table re refers to the selected item um, inside our um, table okay so get id and then um, execute query is show table so save and then clean and build our application and we're doing the clean and build every time we, we run our program so that we will be getting the, the newest version um, including the recent uh, you know edits that we made so run file and log in okay so manage table and say for example save here uh, a random name save and if we click on this we can rename this for example sss a and then update so it's being updated right here and of course it's updated from our uh, database also our mysql database and if you if you want to to delete that of course you can you can um, delete okay and of course if you want guys you can also um a dialogue for that maybe you want to ask first the user um if he or she wants to delete um so for example are you sure to delete this particular record then you can do that every time you update or delete a record coming from um our database okay so i think our manage table right now is fully functional um we can add a new table okay table 10 save table 11 save you could also add um check out one okay check out two okay you can also add check out three um checks save and we can edit this for example uh, checks it should be check out four and then update could click on this and delete okay so the manage table window now is uh, fully functional we could um, query this tables whenever we cre create a new order so if we click on this new order it should ask for the table name and then start the order uh, after after selecting the table and then of course you can add products to that um, table and of course it should update here the total orders of that particular table specified or selected by your um, cashier or the the one managing the pos inside your restaurant so i think um in the next video we're gonna work with um product and i think that's all for this particular video and if you have question please let us know in the comment section below we will try to answer your concerns or queries regarding the the POS that we're trying to develop by using JavaFX and MySQL. So thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video.